1822, since the debut of AEW Dynamite, I had some criticism for the show. And other people had criticism for the TV show. AEW came off as an indie brand, just with a bigger budget. And I did not like that fella of AEW Dynamite. They started just having matches, 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 matches. Then one promo, matches, matches, matches. I felt like I was watching New Japan Wrestling. And that's why I get burned out when I watch some like New Japan Wrestling. Because they do not spread anything out. But then the last two episodes, AEW finally found their identity. And I'm here to praise AEW for all the good they've been doing the last two episodes. They are putting together great vignettes. You get in very good promos. You got them John Moxley. You got them Cody Rose, which one of the best promos I heard in a long time. You don't get that on Wall of Smackdown because it's so heavily scripted, their promos do not come from the heart. Cody Rose promo last night came from the heart, and you're able to feel it, and it made me look forward to Chris Jericho versus Cody Rose and Paul Gary this Saturday for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. And speaking of Chris Jericho, that documentary of Mock and Cody Rose documentary, tremendous stuff right there. Comedy done right. Sammy Guevara said Chris Jericho on a promise career, 48 years old, the youngest AEW champion. That had me legit laughing. I loved that stuff last night with AEW. The build up for Awesome Kong coming to AEW with Brandy Rose, stuff like that. AEW is finally doing what I've been wanting to do for a long time. Build stories around your brand. Wrestling is at its best when the storytelling is good. The reason why we criticize W so much because the storytelling is bland. You get some good storytelling like Kofi Kingston and Daniel Bryan. And you get a lot of storytelling just make you question what the hell the company is doing. But AEW is not doing that right there. John Moxley versus Kenny Omega. They finally building the story. I've been saying for the longest. Why John Moxley not cut a promos when you have a match? With Kenny Omega at the full gear preview. And now AEW is finally doing it. The end of the show last night from AEW. They built up the two biggest matches. John Moxley versus Kenny Omega. Chris Jericho versus Cody Rhodes. And it was a great brawl to end the show. Thank you AEW for entertaining me. Because the WWE do not entertain me a lot. I still watch Raw every single Monday. I still watch Smack every Friday. I do YouTube. W is part of the content I make. But when I watch W, I get a little bit of entertaining stuff. But I don't get a lot. AEW is delivering the entertainment that I really like. So I want more of this AEW. Do not go back to your old format. Continue with your storyline. Continue with your vignettes. Continue with your video package because they are doing a good job. Because when I was watching the first couple episodes, I'm like, when they do one promo or one segment, I was like, we need more of this AEW. Now AEW is spreading around the entire show. And I'm really loving what's going on with AEW. AEW is that hope that all wrestling fans want since the days of WCW. Now, it will be someone on this video. Sorry, it will be someone watching this video. And looking at me saying, that guy is an AEW sheep. No, I am not a sheep at all. Because like as I said, I continue to watch Dougie every Monday and Friday. So I don't want to see nobody in the comments and oh, you a sheep. I ain't no goddamn sheep. I know how sheeps are when it comes to professional wrestling because I see it on Twitter so many times. I'm just here to praise AEW. I criticize them in a couple of videos I made about them. But this video is not about criticizing AEW. AEW is entertaining and I really enjoy the show. If you saw someone who, you know, brought up wrestling, check out AEW. If you saw someone that gave up AEW the first time suits, come back and check out AEW. And I guarantee you, you'll be more entertained by AEW Dynamite than what you see on Mondays and Fridays from the WWE. So give me your thoughts on this video right here. And tell me, are y'all still watching AEW? Do y'all like what y'all seeing from AEW? So don't forget. Hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.